Uh, hi there everybody, got Jason here. Uh, well here we go, here is uh, part one of my uh, video game tour of 2021. Uh, I'm going to start breaking down part of my collection. I did my overview video last week and I'm not going to go in exact chronological order but I am going to try to do the earlier stuff and then lid all the way up to my later stuff. So I got a lot to cover here so let's just get going. I'm going to cover uh, four, four of the earliest video game systems I have in my collection um, and I'm going to start with the granddaddy of them all, the 1972 Odyssey. All right, here we go. The granddaddy of them all, the 1972 Magnavox Odyssey. Uh, this is the brainchild of Ralph Beer, the grandfather of all video games. This is a brown box, which I believe is in the Smithsonian. The Smithsonian. Uh, this was the finished project. He released as the Odyssey 1972, released one year before I was born. And with it, you have, uh, I believe a total, we have here 12 games. We have uh, basketball, uh, sorry, baseball. Basketball, Brainwave, Fun Zoo, Handball, Interplanetary Voyage, Invasion, Volleyball, Win, Wipeout, and this one uh, called Percepts, which um, this was a mail-in game, and I do not believe it came with a box. I'm not 100% sure. I don't have the box. I believe it just came in some generic box that got mailed. And then, of course, uh, you get the Shooting Gallery, which is also the very first light game gun ever released. So, uh, let me open up some of this stuff and show you what's inside. Okay, as you can see, once the box is open, there is your system right there. It comes with these two knobby controllers. Uh, this is basically a glorified Pong system. Well, that's kind of making it too simple, but... Uh, what you have here are these different cards, cards one, two, three, four, and five, and six, that end up playing uh, different type of games. You put the cartridge, well, it's not really a cartridge, it's more of a, uh, it's more of like a, a breaker. It uh, changes the way the games are played. These are not actual games programmed on these chips. Uh, as you can see, and then it comes with all the games, have all of these overlays, and I have everything complete. Uh, you have two overlays, one for a 13-inch TV and one for a 19-inch TV. They just kind of stick on the TV with all the static uh, static electrical charges. Um, I got all the pieces, all the cards. There's a lot that come with it when you come to get it complete. You got game cards you got to make sure. You got chips. Uh, you have to have all the overlays, all for the different TVs. Uh, for both the 13 and 19 inch TV. This is before 60 inch TVs. Uh, I got the instruction booklet. There's all kinds of stuff. To get this complete, you gotta make sure you have all of this stuff. There's more chips, there's dice, there's all kinds of stuff. And same with inside of these games. Some of them have their own separate cartridges. Some of them just have the overlays with different, um, you know, whatever you need for the game scorecards chips, regular playing cards, uh, all within there. These are all complete, all come with manual. And then let me show you the gun. This is gun, you can go rob a bank with this gun. Not like nowadays, look at that. You know, rock it to a bank, steal everything. It looks like a real gun. Uh, this comes with, there's different cartridges. I don't know why I got two, I got two number 10 cartridges. I didn't even know that. I'm sorry, I keep calling them cartridges. They're not cartridges, but. So this is the original 1972 Odyssey complete collection. I got everything that was released. Everything is 100% complete. And this is something I don't think I would ever sell because this is history right here. I mean, if you're into the history of video games, this is what you want. So 1972 Magnavox Odyssey complete. Um, again, these are not really cartridges. You just slip those little cards into the system and they change the way that the uh, games are played the way the dots move um, with the controller. It's like a regular Pong and you got the English button to put spin on the ball and I have yet to play Really any of these games seriously. I tried a few of them out when I bought this a long time ago uh, God, I want to say I picked this up probably about Not quite 20 years ago, but maybe like 17 18 years ago, so I do plan, now that my kids are older, we're going to try this sucker out. I do have a, actually I have a couple 19-inch TVs I just got to hook up, and then 
we'll be playing the good old stuff. So there's uh, part one. Well, I shouldn't say part one, but that's the first, very first video game system and the first one I want to show you in this video. And now on to the next one. Okay, so here we are. Here is the uh, Fairchild Channel F video game system, released in 1976. And believe it or not, this is the very first cartridge-based home system ever released. Released before the Atari 2600 and the Bally Astrocade and a few of the other ones. And I have uh, both of these systems. I got the Channel F uh, System 1 and System 2. They are pretty much identical, a little bit of a cosmetic change. And the Channel F2 system has detachable controllers. Uh, there were 26 games released for the system. As you can see, I have got all 26 of the games. Um, they're, most of them uh, are identified by their number. Uh, but they also have the names of the games for them as well. Uh, these, this last row here, these are the ones that are really hard to get. Um, I got this system, again, around the same time I got the Odyssey, about 17, 18 years ago. I uh, ended up uh, getting the system with a bunch of games and was able to pick up the rest of the games along the way. And they're very simplistic games, as you could see. You know, you have your tic-tac-toe shooting gallery. Oh, the writing's really small, but you got shooting gallery, card games, uh, shooting games, space war, some math course back at then. You had to have some learning games to help sell it to the parents. Uh, math quiz 1 and 2, magic numbers, drag strip. Uh, oh, boy, what is that one? Maze, uh, Backgammon. Never learned how to play Backgammon. I think that's the only game I didn't play. There's like two games I didn't play for the system. I played all the games. Um, got Baseball, Robot Wars, Sonar Search, Memory Match, Dodge It, Pinball Challenge, Hangman, uh, Checkers, um, Video video whiz ball, bowling, slot machine. Uh, this one is Galactic Wars. I believe these last, some of these last ones, I think that's the, the box it was released in. It's just a plain white box with just the end label. I'm not sure about that. Uh, Pro Football, the only one that I have loose, which is Casino Poker, and number 26, which is Alien Invasion. Uh, these are all complete, minus, of course, the, the non-box for video poker. And, uh, yeah, some of these last ones are uh, getting up there in price. This uh, Checkers one, I think, number 19, is really up there in price. In fact, I got a collector buddy who really wants to buy this off of me. But I don't know if I would ever sell this Channel F system because, uh, again, of the history of it. This is where, again, all the, the very first, you know, programmable cartridges... This is the granddaddy of them all. As a, the Odyssey that I showed before this, those were more like uh, circuit breaker the cards that you put in there. They weren't actual games programmed. It just changed how the system itself operated differently by changing the way the ball is placed and moves around the board. Uh, let me open up these for you. So here's the Channel F1 system. As you can see, this little top part comes off and that's where you got your controllers. And cartridge goes in there. I got all the hookups for this one. And then the Channel F2. Again, pretty much the same, just a little bit cosmetically different. Cartridge goes right in there. Uh, controllers are back there. They are detachable, which is one of the, the two major differences between the two. Um, not a bad system. Uh, everything is very basic. Uh, you're, you, once you play these games once, you'll probably never play them again. The only ones really that I thought were a lot of decent fun were uh, bowling was pretty good. Uh, I actually like casino poker was good. Um, trying to remember from a long time ago. There are a few other ones. Most of these games are very basic games. Uh, this is just for serious collectors only who only like, you know, really like the history of video games. This is what you want. This is the start of cartridge-based systems, 1976 Channel F system, complete all the games, and there you go. Uh, so let's move on to the next system. Okay, so here's the next system I want to cover. This is the Telstar Arcade, uh, actually released in 1978. It was supposed to come out in 1976. Uh, only has four games released for it, the pack-in game, and then uh, Arcade Game 2, 3, and 4. But because uh, I read uh, something to do with uh, 
uh, something with uh, that was going on, some dock strike and other things. It didn't get released till 1978. So by then, you know, the Atari 2600 was out and the Bally Astrocade, and it was really out of date by then. But uh, really, all it is, it's it again, it's like a, a glorified Pong. You got different versions of Pong. Uh, you got some shooting games and you got driving games. So what you do is you take this little triangle type of cartridge and you stick it right on top here and you pop it in like that and then whatever side you want to play on this side of course is kind of like your pong with the regular dial controllers uh, here's your racing with the steering wheel and your first and second gear and then over here kind of like the odyssey boy you could back then you could they could make guns where you could go rob a bank with them yeah i'm gonna go rob a bank with my odyssey gun and my telstar arcade gun look at that Click, 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 uh, and then there's, of course there's shooting games. Um, I got everything complete here. All the games come with everything, all the manuals and everything like that. Um, yeah, I did play. I actually played all the games. I actually played all four of them a couple of years ago. This is again another system that I got quite a few years, about 15, 16 years ago. Uh, got a complete. Now this is a system that, you know, I think I I might sell one year. I know it. I keep on talking about how I don't want to sell. All this history and stuff but you know i might part with this because i played it all all four of the games and i'll probably never play it again and it's not like the first of some kind of system uh, this is something i'll think about over the next few years and i may or may not sell so if you've been looking for a telstar arcade with the box i got the uh, instruction manual all the stuff inside the box uh it works fine um there you go telstar arcade that's system number three i wanted to cover uh, and let's move on to the uh, fourth system here Okay, now it's time to talk about the RCA Studio 2, uh, released in 1976, a um, few months after the Atari 2600, so by the time this thing was released, it was way out of date already. Uh, the thing about this system, and, and I have it complete with all the games, even the demonstration cartridge, which I heard from a collector before that there's only three of these that are known to exist. Uh, I don't know if that's true or not, but that's kind of cool. I know I don't have the bingo game which as far as my knowledge it was never released to the public it was uh it was in the making um so it's kind of like having a prototype in my opinion I, I wish i did have it but um you know if it, it wasn't released to the public then how are you supposed to get it right uh so here's the thing all the games are in black and white uh i have played all of these games uh biorhythm is barely a game at all you got your typical baseball blackjack uh, fun with numbers, you know, you always got to have learning games back then so they could try to sell it to parents like, hey, it's not just video games, your kids can learn stuff. I don't know why that one's upside down. Speedway Tag. Uh, these games, really not that much fun. Um, in fact, let me open up the box so you could see exactly uh, why it's not a lot of fun. Uh, so I do have the uh, packing um, styrofoam that it came with. It even says RCA Studio, or well, RCA on top. Uh, so that's the system. There is no controllers whatsoever. You put the cartridges right here in this top spot. Uh, no sound comes from the TV. All you get are little bleeps and bloops from the system itself. And this is your controller. Just basically, you know, up, diagonally up, uh, you know, uh, for controlling whatever game you're going to play. A lot of them are two-person games. Um, you know what this is i don't think i would sell the whole system but i might sell a few of these games again in the future and when i i mentioned that i'm downsizing i've gotten a few messages from people saying you know like oh i'm interested in this I, i'm not downsizing for still a few years uh, i don't mean to get everybody's hopes up but uh we're talking about not till probably at least 2024 till i start thinking about downsizing some of this stuff but this is a system i could get rid of a few games i'd like to keep maybe a handful and the system itself um but at the same time i might just keep it all together because i do have the complete collection uh so yeah i have played all these games are really nothing good um they kind of dropped the ball uh releasing this after the atari 2600 all games like i said all the games are in black and white there's no controller the sound quality is really lame um but again, I do appreciate the history of it all. And uh, again, this is another system. You know, a lot of this early stuff I was collecting very early 2000s. And I picked up a lot of this stuff in the early 2000s when it was, you know, 
you can find the stuff and you can find it at a good price. So uh, this is my RCA Studio 2 collection, complete, minus the bingo, but I don't count that. Um, and uh, there you go. So those are four of the systems that I wanted to show you in this video, kind of the start of everything. I do have one last thing I want to show you before I close out this video, though. And I thought I'd just show off uh, just a few of my uh, Pong systems I have. I don't really collect the Pong systems. These are just ones that I picked up at garage sales. And, uh, you know, as you can see, I don't find them that often. I only have four. Uh, if you were to go crazy trying to collect Pong systems, there are there's hundreds of variations by different manufacturers, different models. I mean, uh, there really is hundreds and hundreds of Pong systems if you really wanted to collect. I just have a few... Uh, you got to remember too, I, I was born in 1973, so one of my very first video game experiences was Pong. My aunt had a, a Pong system in her basement when we went to go visit her. Uh, it was a Pong system that had uh, four different variations of the games. I used to try to get somebody to come down there and play it with me. If not, I would just, you know, do both controllers just so I could play it. And that's not my very first video game memory, but it's one of my earlier ones. It was playing Pong probably in the late 70s at my aunt's house. I wish I, I wish, you know what? I wonder if she still has that Pong system. I gotta give her a call, see if she could give it to me. I'll, I'll pay her whatever she wants, uh, just to have that memory back. So here's my few Pong systems I have. Um, I thought I had a fifth one. I might have another one somewhere. I got so much stuff, sometimes I forget where I put stuff, but, uh, there you go. There's the uh, four Pong systems I have. They all work. Uh, everything that I've showed you works, too. What's the, what's the sense I have on something if it doesn't work, right? Every Everything that I'm going to show you in all these videos work, and, um, you know, if it doesn't work, then why have it? So uh, that'll close out this video, and the next video I'll do some more of uh, my late 1970 release systems, like the Bally Astrocade, the APF-1000, as well as the Odyssey 2 and then see where we'll go from there. So hope you enjoy the video, and I'll get one out again next weekend. Uh, have a nice day.